Hi, Idia. How do I explain to my friends and parents that I suffer from severe anxiety attacks when I'm with more than a maximum of five people without being classified as antisocial? Okay, so I'll let you guys. Okay, so I think you know it's, it's always difficult for you know for people to come out to talk about their mental illness. Yeah. And um, for her, in her own case, she already has um, should I say social anxiety? <laughs> yeah. So it's actually harder for her because that's part of the symptoms of social anxiety. It's harder for her to express herself to people. Yeah. And then it's harder for her to, to explain why she can't go out to where maybe there's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, so there's actually a process to use. Um, you, you can develop, you can just call it a um, pro talking process. Okay. There are like three steps. There's a talking process where you talk about the talk. So, you know, pick out one or two friends, you, you think about the pros and the cons of talking to that one friend. Yeah. And then you talk to the person about the talk, like, I want to talk to you about something very important. I'm already embarrassed by it, but I want you to be patient with me. Do not make me get ashamed of it. Yeah. So that's, you're talking about, about the talk you're about to have. Yeah. So now the next step is now to talk about the problem. So, and in her own case, she has anxiety. So, you know, go ahead, she, she go ahead and say something like, um, I think I'm finding it hard to cope when I have more than five people around me. It's, it's getting difficult for me to cope with my life, my job, that way. So I need help and I need you to be there for me. So after that, you know, suggest the problems or, or the ways in which they can help you solve the problem. Like, I want to be able to go to the therapist. I want you to remind me when I want to go to the therapist. I want you to stop me from taking too much alcohol in the club so that it doesn't interfere with my drugs and you know something like that so it makes it easier for you to um, develop some kind of rapport with your friend and they make it easier they're like anxiety bodies for you they make it easier for you to cope outside when you go outside and you go there are more than five people um, they tell you all right take take your time interact talk to the person and you find that it, it with time it takes time but with time if it, it becomes easier for you to talk to people and then also I mean, like, if you, found, if, you, if you know what your diagnosis is, it means you've been going to the hospital, yeah. which means they should have offered psychotherapy to you and cognitive behavior therapy. These things help you to cope. So. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, I really like the um, idea about talk about the talk. Um, and um, I think sometimes it's difficult to just get into what the issue is straight away. So that's like a nice stepping stone before we actually talk about the real thing. Let's talk about can I talk about it? Um, and um, one of the one of the social media um, campaigns that was going on that was happening pretty much last week through Mental Health Awareness Week um, was saying that it's okay to talk. You yeah. know. Um, and um, this, even just this morning, I literally just read um, a Twitter feed by one um, quite prominent um, Nigerian poet. And she was talking about exactly that, about her anxiety when she gets on stage, like right before she gets on stage. And even though it looks like she's doing well, she's really like battling, yeah, inside. She's battling through like all these nerves and, and, and all of that. And, and I think that just by having that conversation, even over Twitter, you know, she's able to release. It's it's a nice release for her, yeah. So it's um it's an anonymous um, conversation, but then at the same time, I mean, obviously, you're gonna get lots and lots of traction. And I think you she you will be surprised with how much support you get and how much you realize that other people are going through. You know, yeah. But just reeling this reeling this in a little bit. You work with children, correct? Yes. So um, this person's asking, how do I come out to my parents? So ah. what? So what's? Um, how does somebody talk to? You know, you've said have the talk about the talk, right? Yes. With your friend or whoever, would it be the same process when you're trying to speak to your parents? Because again, mm. a lot of African parents are like, what do you mean you're depressed? Or what do you mean this? Or okay, you have anxiety. What are you talking about? Do you want to take public speaking classes? They wouldn't think that's even ridiculous. Like they're just yeah, yeah, difficult to explain those kind of things too, because in their generation. They didn't know what to classify it yes. as, let's be honest. They yes. didn't have all these terms and yes. this understanding of these issues. So for them, it's just you're being dramatic or why did I send you to school in America? Now you've come, you know, that kind of thing. So, so how do you, is it the same process? Talk about what you're about to tell them or is there a different way to approach your... Um, definitely, it depends on your parents. Um, yeah, and it depends on the relationship you have with your parents. Yeah, but I would still take that same kind of strategy. Um, and you know, choose choose an an opportune moment um, where your parents are not necessarily stressed from 
you know, a day's work or, <laughs> you know, um, so try to choose a relaxed moment. Um, and then, yeah, I would take it step by step, like approach it carefully. Um, but yeah, I, I would say But maybe in this, in this case, you can, you can actually mention a doctor. You cannot say, the doctor said I have uh, social anxiety. Yeah. So, you know, parents listen to, to things when it, when it relates to doctors. That's true. Yeah. yeah, so I think that's it. So you've heard from our guests, definitely when speaking to your parents, you might want to find the right time to talk to them about it. Don't talk to them when they are stressed or already angry about something. And also, if you have some kind of reference or um, some concrete evidence that this is actually an issue and not just you panicking or being yeah. nervous, then um, that also helps when talking to Nigerian parents. But I like what Victor was saying about, you know, the process of speaking to your parents or your friends. So, you know, talk about the talk, talk about the problem and talk about the solutions, how the person can help you. And I hope that, you know, some of this has helped you answer your question. Um, we're, we have to take a quick break right now, guys, but don't go anywhere because You've Got Issues will be back. Don't forget that you can join the conversation online by hashtagging YGI on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Stay with us.